here and said, out of all the families on the earth, because he made all of them, but he said he know who. Read it again for him. I need y'all to know. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So who did God know? All, all of them. Y'all. All of us. There you go, all of us, the nation of Israel. He didn't know all the families. He didn't. He doesn't care about all the families. And what I mean by that, he made them specifically for you. You may, why is the white man in existence? Hmm. Why is the Chinese man in existence? To serve you. If you didn't know why all these other nations exist, it's to serve you. But you may say, damn, how do, well, they own the shops, they own the, the weed stores, they own the delis, they own all this in my neighborhood, in my neighborhood, how... I'm over them. And bro, it's coming. They gon' serve us. There you go. It's coming. And how is it gonna come though? What? Oh. And that, it's okay. That's what I'm gonna show you. How is that gonna come? By us repenting. Yes. By us repenting and turning back to the laws of God. Right. Read that. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. For all your iniquities, God is punishing us. Because he only known us. Meaning he only cares about us. So, like Mike Jr. here, he didn't come home when them streetlights came on. But guess what? He was rolling with his boys. Are you going to whoop all them boys? No, sir. Who you going to whoop? I to the one I told him. There you go. To the one you told, Mike Jr. Well, right. I, well my friends, they, I ain't, I, they ain't my kids. You my son, I told you be in this house when them streetlights come right. on. That's right. I, hey, if them parents don't care about them like that, that's on them. That's on them. Now, we try to build our community, so you may tell the young boy, hey, go home. Start running these streets. But you can't lay your hands on them. Now, if they spend the night at my house with little Mike, Hey, 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 there you go. That, that's my, hey, I'm right there with you. If I gotta watch your kids, I'm gonna love your kids the same way I love my kids. You hear me? That's always, hey, that's my mentality too. If I gotta watch your kids, I'm gonna love your kids like I love my kids. And guess what? I believe in what the Lord said. I ain't sparing the rod. Because foolishness is in the heart of these children out here. Without their parents telling them, be home. Don't do this. Don't do that. You see these young girls around here walking around in booty shorts? That's right. What's going to happen to you? What can only happen to you walking around in spandex and booty shorts? Right. Something bad. You going to run into one of these boys out here. He going to get the Exodus 2216 in you, but not marrying you. He going to spit that game, and now you a baby mama. Gonna he going to take it. That's right. You got someone out here that's going to take it. You out here after dark. Uh, bring it out. Wearing them clothes. You out your damn mind. That's right. But that's what happens when you don't have parents that love you. That's right. They don't know the laws of God. That's why it's up to us as a community. Get your, if I can't try in the street, get, it, get your butt in the house. She, oh, shoot, let me. You know what I mean? She's going to take her butt in the house. That's real love. That's real love. It ain't just talk. That's why I said, if I'm watching your kids, I'm going to love your kids like I love my kids. Like you said, that's what Thomas said. Hey, if they own my house, they spend the night on my house. I told them being in my time, streetlights come on. Hey, hey, mom, daddy, Thomas beat me. Hey, what? what hey, I told him be in the house by them, them streetlights. Oh, what? Then now, back in the day, what the parents gonna do to you? Beat they gonna beat you again. So you done got beat by them, and your parents gonna wear you out. That's that's right. Now you gonna know, oh, shit, I better listen to Thomas next time you tell me to do something. That's community. That's real love, like the officer said. That's what we lacking right now. Yep. We're so divided, you trying to tell these young boys something, they liable to shoot you. Yep. Now, we don't give a damn because we out here to teach them. Somebody got to teach them, but that's their mindset. They so ready to kill and drill anything that move, you try to correct them, they ready to shoot you, kill you. Because yeah. that's all they know. That's Like, for example, my young sister right here, what I was saying with the leggings, right? We don't want her to become a baby mama. But if you advertise something to somebody, what, what are you going to get? Right, right. You won't get what you advertise. Right. What if, you if McDonald's told you, guess what, we got to sell on Big Macs for two ninety nine. dollars what you going to go do if you love McDonald's? You going to go to McDonald's and say, hey, I need that Big Mac for two ninety nine. dollars And what, if they tell you, oh, no, it's $5. What? No, you said it was two ninety nine, dollars and that's what I came to get. No, it's $5. You will not get my two ninety nine. dollars A.K.A., she dealing with one of these young boys. She in spandex leggings. And they trying to have sex with her, and then, no, I don't, I don't really want to. What? But you out here like this. You dress like this, you advertising this. So that's what I'm trying to get. And then like the officer said, they might just take it. If you're in a wrong area, and there's not people around, they might just take it. Because that's what you advertised. And now they feel like, ah, uh, that's false advertisement. You know what? I'm still gonna get what I came for though. And that's what we don't want.
We don't want that for our young sisters out here. We don't want that for our young men out here. You going to jail. Well, somebody gonna kill you. I can't tell you what that father and mother might do to you. They find out about that. You might not even make it to jail, right? Go ahead, read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. It said thou art in holy people. Holy means separate. You only out of all the families I have known on the earth, you only have I known. That's that separatism. That's that specialness. And now with you being special, what comes with that? And how special are you? Are you just a little special? Royal. Are you just so so? You royal. 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 Keep, keep reading that though. Royal. There you go. The Lord God hath the Lord that God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Unto himself. Not for everybody. We not for everybody. And everybody not like us. Everybody not as great as us. And you can see it on a carnal level when you look at sports. Who dominate the sports? We do. Just because on a genetic level, we greater than all the nations. You can see that on a physical level. Who has went through what we went through and survived that? The Great Depression, how many, who was killing themselves during the Great Depression? White folks, was it black people? No, because we done been through this. This ain't nothing new for us. Right, we gonna deal with it. There you go, this life. We learn how to struggle. There you go, we learn how to struggle. This ain't new to us, right? But for them, oh no, they can't handle that. They had killed themselves immediately. That's why you know we're special people. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. No, we equal to all people. We all one nation. We all human. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God said, what are we? What are we? What's our status? Are we equal? What are we then? If we're not equal, what are we? Read it again for him. There you go, my sister Esther. We are above all people. We are above. We are above. We are above. You might say, why I got to say it so many times? Because they didn't put their foot on your neck. They done made you bow down for centuries. So when I tell you, you are above every nation on this planet Earth, you don't believe me. When I say the black man is the greatest thing on this earth, you don't believe me. When I say the black woman is second only to the black man, you don't believe me. Why? Because they put their foot on your neck. They made you bow down in slavery. They raped your wife. They took your sons, your daughters. You had no might in your hand. And through that, you're downtrodden. Through that, you have low self-esteem. Through that, you have no self-confidence. So when I tell you you're the greatest thing since God made, you don't believe me. So I got to say it again and again. My young brother, my brother right here, we seen you the other night. What, you got long hair or something? If not, my young brother, go ahead, take the bonnet off, man. Let's that, leave that to the women. Leave that to the women, man. And for real, for real, they shouldn't be wearing that out in public either. They shouldn't be wearing bonnets out in public either. Dress yourself up, have some care about you. But young men definitely don't need to be wearing that. What you got? Yeah, go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. So, also, man, he brought this out earlier, but I got to read it for my young brothers out here. Because the other day we were teaching some young men, and they said, they said it's okay for them to wear skirts, dresses. I said, whoa. But when I asked them who their enemy was, they said the white man. I said, okay. I'm cook they cooking with something. But then I asked them, well, okay. Is it okay for you to wear a dress or a skirt? Yeah. I said, oh, no. Who told you that? Your enemies. Is it okay for women to wear pants, Timberlands, combat boots? Yeah. Is it okay for a man to be with a man and a woman to be a woman? Yeah. No. My brothers have to tear that down. My brothers have to cast down that imagination. Right? Because that's what they've been taught in these communities. Because their fathers wasn't in their lives. When I asked the majority of them, they said they have to visit their fathers on the weekends or the summers. Because I asked them, okay, y'all growing up in a two-parent household? They said, no. I said, okay, is your father in your life? They said, yeah. I said, okay, well, if you're not growing up in a two-parent household, who you living with? Mama. Oh, okay. That's why. Once that boy hit 12 or 13, can mama deal with him? No. Once that daughter get hot in the ass, can mama deal with her? If mama got to work a full-time job with double jobs to make ends meet? No. So now she ripping and running the street. Now she being fast. Now them young boys bucking up. You trying to beat them, they just looking at you. All right, you done?
Now I'm about to go do what I want to do. Now otherwise you're gonna have to go inside the hell with a pot or something. Mm -hmm. That's what you're gonna have to do. Mm -hmm. Now you might go to jail. Mm -hmm. And you can't go to jail if you got other kids. Right. Now you hit that point, you know what boy? I ain't gonna keep beating you. Mm -hmm. I done told you what's right and I done told you what's wrong. Mm -hmm. you, ain't, I'm, you ain't gonna keep wearing me out trying to beat you. That's when they go to school. There you go, that's when they go to the streets. That's when they get shot like these two young brothers the other night. Yep. Yep. That's what happens. Finish that. The woman shall not wear that which partaketh unto a man. So my officer, my brother, he brought this out earlier. What does that mean? There you go. Esther, my sister, you agree with that? Okay, all praise. For certain jobs, you have to. And, I, right, and right, guess what? Right, right. Like Nehemiah said, right? We are subject, right? We in captivity. So I, I understand. And we pray that the Lord may have mercy on us right. when it comes to some things, right? right. right. Like pork. Could we control what we eat back in the day? No. No. The master gave you them chitlins. He gave you that. You gonna eat what you gonna eat to survive, right? right? So that's what happened. But according to Leviticus 11, you're not allowed to eat pork. You're not allowed to eat shrimp, crab, lobster. So guess what? The Lord, we got grace right now. Now, just because we got grace, don't mean we can just do anything we want to do. Right. But guess what? We pray that Lord have mercy. You know, I'm trying to get out this job. I'm looking for another job, so I ain't got to do this. Or I'm looking for a way to circumvent, so I ain't got to break your commandments. What, Have mercy on me. What about when I get off work? Yeah, exactly. So when you get off work, do you keep God's commandments then? There you go. So my sister, when you get off work, what you got to do with the pants? Take them off, I put on shorts. <laughs> short Read what? that again. Short what? In the house. Short, short what? Uh, short pants. That's all shorts are. Shorts and short pants? That's, that's all it is. It's shorts. They're just shorter than pants. Well, baby, shorts. Go buy some they, 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 that's what I'm talking about. That, you see, the, hey, Thomas, hey, you might have got you one now. You know what I mean? So, hey, my sister said you got to go buy her a skirt and dress. And what I like to do and what I was taught, you know what I mean? It may be expensive to change the whole wardrobe at once, right? So you may got to do, okay, here, paycheck, get an outfit. Okay, this paycheck, go ahead and get you a blouse. This paycheck, go ahead and get you a skirt. This paycheck, go ahead and get you a dress. This paycheck, go ahead and buy you one pair of shoes. You know what I mean? Because it, it, it costs now oh, yeah. to do a whole wardrobe. Oh, yeah. So you got to do it bit by bit. You know what I mean? Hey, for now to start off, let's go ahead and buy you a little, you know, some black, some white. Let's mix it up with some, some you know what I mean, some colors that can go with each other. Yeah. This shirt can go with this blouse. These shoes can go with all them outfits. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to be, come on now. We done struggle now. We, we done did hang downs now. now. Come on now. Don't, don't get brand new on me now. Go ahead, read that. The woman shall not wear that which partaketh unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So now what is that woman's garment? A dress. There you go. So it is okay for these rappers out here to be wearing skirts and dresses? No. No. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. We also got to look at it from a whole. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because, yeah, mama might be working at 40 hours plus a week job. Yep. So that means what? Mama's not home. Right. right. So that means mama can't take on what you're watching on TV. There right. you go. There you right. go. Now you got BET and MTV and you. Yeah, it is. And guess what? You see skirts. skirts. Yep. And you too. Platform shoes. Mm -hmm. You see the nails. Yeah. yeah. All of that. All of that. All of that. So yep. the first thing in there, the young brother's mind is what? Hey, That's cool. Uzi Vert can do it. He got many money and women. And women. Yeah. But see, that's, how the that's how he's successful. How the devil deceive you. There you go. Oh. And who is the devil? Yeah. You know who the devil is. I know. Tell me. If we know, tell me. Right. Who? The white man. There you go. Right. Don't be scared to say it. Yeah. Right. The white man is the so called devil. Yeah. Why right. is that? Because he deceives our people. Right. He the one that told you, come as you are. This image right here. He tells you, come as you are. You don't have to change. He tells you it's okay for the, the choir director to be sweet. He tells you it's okay for the um, the pastor's wife to run the church when he out on vacation or he doing his thing. First lady, right? She can reap, she can rule and teach men. Is that okay? No. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.